Welcome back to the Crochet Chronicles, so my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. Another great pattern, free by Jeannie. And this is a really awesome idea. It's called the Blended Love Blanket and it's using a red heart ombre that you're seeing. So you'll see not only a color transition but you're also going to see that there's two different kinds of stitches being used. In the blue section here we have the Suzette stitch which I've never seen before and then we're gonna do like a modified uh, hugs and kisses in the pink section. So what I'm going to do for this is that you're gonna wanna know how to read patterns in order to do this particular concept. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna teach you but I asked you need to send me the document so I can mark it up for you. So you'll see that this section is blue, pink, blue, pink. And so you're gonna see that it will match the particular sample. So I just put a box around it so as you're seeing this it's kinda easier to be able to follow. So when you're doing this in the very first part you're gonna see repeat uh, row number three, uh, for rows number 14 to 15, repeat number three. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna teach you this particular concept and then I'm gonna tell you to go there and then you'll put me on pause and then we'll then jump. So I'm not gonna do the whole swatch for you um, because I don't need to because it's just a matter of repeating over and over. Once we do that then you're gonna need a smaller crochet hook size. So we have a five and a half mil millimeter size I and a four and a half milli mil millimeter uh, with a US 7. And so you'll notice that it's a larger hook and then a smaller hook. This has uh, uh, more, um, this one needs a smaller hook in order to keep the balance. So that's why she has that. So you're gonna notice that this is a three page pattern. You see the Suzette stitch right here. You see the other stitch right here. And you will also see some close ups on page number three just in case you want it. So if you'd like to change the size of this it's multiples of 16 plus 18. So go 16, 16, 16. When you're satisfied just add another 18 stitches in or, or 18 chains in order to get yourself started. So it's gonna have a really unique way to start this and then once we get that done then pretty much you just put your hook into the wind. Okay enough yibber yabber let's get at her and let's begin with the larger hook a size I and then we're gonna start right here. So let's begin with a slip knot and you can chain 210 if you like to do Jeannie's pattern. It'll give you a 52 inch wide by 74 inches long and if you'd like to change the size of it just do multiples of 16 and then add 18 at the end of the chain. So 16, 16, 16 and then add 18. So either decide uh, 210 or doing the multiples you decide and I'll meet you right back here in just a moment. So just chain the amount that you want. So I've just done two sets of 16. So I went 16, 16 and said I'm happy with it. So I added 18. So this is what it's gonna be. The reason why I'm having you come out is that this will turn into a wave. So just because you see it this long now, once you start getting the wave going on, you're going to notice that this will shrink in width. So if you think it's really long now, once you get beyond the second row, you're gonna see it really compress into its natural shape. So let's begin row number one. So let's begin row number one. You're going to go second chain for the hook. So just go to the second. Just turn it over and get the back hump only. And I want you to single crochet that one and six more. So just this one with six more gives you a total of seven. So count that as one and then the next one is two and three, four, five, six, and seven. Now that we have our seven you're gonna notice something really unusual in this pattern which I thought was wrong but it's not. So we're not going to do the peaks in this particular row. We're only gonna focus on the bottom, so the bottom of the valley. So over the next three stitches, the next three chains sorry, it's going to be single crochet three together. So just going in the next one pull through and then the next one pull through and the final one next one pull through. You should have four loops on the hook pull through all four loops. That's a three together. Now for the remaining going all the way across you're gonna single crochet the next 13. So you just go in sets of 13. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve and thirteen. And then once you get the thirteen the next three are together. 
So you're gonna go all the way across the chain like that. So there's gonna be 13 single crochets that separate these th three together and then eventually you get to the end of the line. So the last seven will be a single crochet if you get there. So I'm just gonna continue along 13 and then three together, 13 and three together and then the last seven should be just a single crochet and I'll meet you there in just a moment. So when you get all the way across you're going to notice all these divots that kind of come down. These are the three togethers and then you got your 13 in a row. So you have seven, then 13 and then three together, 13 and etc. And then finally the last seven will each be a single crochet. So now we're gonna turn and work and begin row number two and this is the Suzette stitch. Sorry I'm having trouble announcing that. <laughs> So we're gonna get ourselves started with this particular stitch and we're going to chain one and in the first stitch itself right underneath that where you did the chain one it's gonna be the following. It'll be a single crochet first and then a double crochet all in the same one. Now here's the repeat. So we we have to be conscious where these are doing the uh, the three together and then on the top of the peaks we are gonna be handling that so we will make a peak at that point and we will have these coming together at the bottom. So we'll show you how to do that of course. So starting in the next uh, we're gonna skip the next single crochet and in the next stitch we wanna do a single crochet and then a double crochet into the same one. Okay and then we're gonna skip the next stitch. We're gonna single crochet and double crochet. And then in the skipping a stitch and in the next stitch you're gonna single crochet and double crochet. So you have to do this a total of six times in a row and this will take you to the almost to the middle of the next peak. Okay this is not a peak yet but it will be. So just skip the next stitch, single crochet and double crochet. Skip the next stitch, single crochet and double crochet. And then skip the next stitch and single crochet and double crochet. So there should be a total of six of those in a row. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I wasn't counting but I was just kind of using the center point between the two divots here to be able to determine that. So it, what we have to do once we have those six done is that we have to then skip a stitch and in the next one we're gonna create a peak. So we're going to start, skip the next one and start with a single crochet and then double and don't move forward yet. So single crochet again and double and that will create the peak for you. Okay, so now we're going to just do the repeat. So skipping the next one so single crochet and double and you're gonna wanna do that a total of six times. So skip the next one, single and a double. Skip the next one, single and a double. Skip, single and a double. Skip single and a double. And I think I just got one more to do. I'm looking as a kind of just as a reference point. So skip the next one, single and a double and I should have six of those between before uh, after I did that last peaky thing over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you're gonna do another peak. So skip in the next one. So single and then double and do that again in the same stitch. So single and then double. And then you just skip the next one and do uh, all the way to the end. So just put me on pause, just keep on moving across but if this is near the end then just uh, put me on play now. So if you're ready to move on just skip the next one. So single and then double. So skip, single and double. Skip, single and double. Skip, single and double. Skip, single and double. Skip, single 
and double and in the very last one so you're gonna skip and in the last stitch here you are going to apply then a single and a double and then a single. Do you notice that this was different from how you started it? How we started it with the single and double and then we moved on but the ends we finish with the single, double and single and that allows us to keep the balance. So it has a little bit of texture now and we're now going to move on row number three which will be the repeat then all for rounds or row number four through fifteen. So let's start row number three. So let's begin row number three which will be the repeat every time you're doing this particular concept. So you're going to chain one and in the first stitch you are going to put in a single first and then a double. And then you're going to skip the next double crochet which is the next stitch and then the next one is a single. So you'll go in there and you will single and then double. So you'll skip the next double which is the next stitch and go to the next one. So just skip a stitch pretty much. So you're only focused on the single crochet stitches like that. So when you're doing this you're gonna do this with a total to get yourself to the valley here. So you, that's what you have to pay attention to. So I'm gonna go another one. So skip, so single and then a double. So as you make your way to the valley you have to skip now a certain amount. So you're gonna skip the next double, the next single and the next double and then start in the fourth stitch away. So you can see that's four stitches. So you'll start with the single and then a double. And now we're making our way up to the peak. So the peak is gonna be handled different. So you skip the next one. So single and double. So skip the next one. Single and double. And so you wanna do that a total uh, three times that you had and then you're gonna skip the next one and in the next single crochet you wanna single this is the peak. You're gonna double and then you're going to single and then a double. All within that same stitch. And then you're gonna move down. So skipping the next double just go for the single. So, so single and double. Skip the next one. Single, double. Skip the next one. Single and double and then you're back on the, the valley. So you can see that there's three of them in between the ups and downs. So skip in the next double, single, double. So go to the fourth one over and begin again. So single and then double. Okay, skip the next one, single, double. So you know that there's only three going up. So skip the next one, so single and double and then you'll have a peak. So skip in the next one and in the next next one after that single, double, single and double all within the same and then begin going down. So skip in the double out coming to the single, single, double. Skip, single, double. Skip, single, and double. So that's your third one coming out and then you're gonna skip over three. So one, two, three and then just single, double and watch how we finish off this one. So skip, single, and double. So skip, single and double and in the very last one so skipping the last uh, next one and going to your last stitch and there will be three stitches in there. So it will be single, double and single. And that will conclude off row number three. So I want just to make you aware of this once again and I'm gonna go through row number four next which is part of a repeat row for rows four through fifteen. So rows number four through fifteen is repeating of row three. So every time you have row three this is what it is. So you'll notice that even when there's a color change it's still this instruction when it says repeat row three. So you're gonna just chain up one and in the first one you're going to put in a single and a double. And then we're gonna come down. So skip in the next double. So just skip and go single and double. Now for 
uh, brevity reasons I'm just gonna assume that you're going to skip. So just only play within the single crochets and you're going down. So there's a total of three of those that are separate from each other versus the tops and the valleys. So that's the third one. So the one on the edge does not count as one of the three. So one, two, three. So now you're gonna skip over the three and just immediately come into the fourth one which is a single and begin again. So single, double, and then eventually you'll hit the top. So skip the next one. So the next one is the peak. So single, double, same stitch, single and double and then start going down the other side. So skipping the double out, just come to the single and remember there's three on its own. Okay, there's a three that are done. Then you're gonna skip three, so one, two, three, go to the fourth, that's your valley and begin to going up. So I want you to do this all the way across. I'll meet you at the end of the row and then we'll just quickly review and move on. When you get to the end of the row, uh, just uh, going to the last stitch, remember that it is going to be a single and then a double and then you're left with one single left. So you need that odd number in the end in order to keep the balance. So now you're just gonna do number five row now all the way to 15. Just use the same color and then you're gonna switch off then for row number 16 which will be the same instruction but then we'll have a different color and then you'll do row number 17 back with this uh, main color again and it's row number 18 that has a slight change to it. So what I'm gonna do for you is that just look at the pattern and just now follow this along and I'll show you how to end row number 18 because the end of row number 18 matters because we are gonna start off with the new stitch then in row number 19. So please now do rows number four all the way through 17 and then I'll be right back and then I'll show you how to finish off row number 18. So now I'm gonna assume that you're ready and you're on row number 18. So 18 is going to finish differently. So you're gonna still start off the same way. So single and then a double and then etc. And you'll skip the next one and then single and double. So you already know what you're doing at this point hopefully. So what I'm gonna do is I'll meet you at the end of this row. We're gonna end slightly different so that we can begin row number 19 with that new set of instructions that are ready for you. Let's uh, begin to do that. I'll see you at the end of the row number 18. So when you get to the end of row number 18, the difference between rows number uh, three all the way to 17 was how you ended. So because we're now going to switch off to row number 19 next, we're gonna be changing our stitches. So you're just gonna make sure you skip one and in the last stitch only in row number 18 is that you're going to single and then a double and then that's it. Okay, so you don't add that extra single that you have been. So I'm gonna show you how to fasten this off. So if you wanna change your colors, um, you would have already changed it by now, but if, just in case you weren't paying attention or if you wanna know. So you just, just cut your yarn and just throw it through a tapestry needle. So you can do this with any loose ends that you have and uh, you wanna weave it inside the project itself. So just coming in, just underneath the stitch work. So don't mess with the outside of the stitch work. So just coming through. And when you pull it, don't change the shape of this. Just pull it taut and go back and forth underneath the stitches a total of three times. So you always choose a different, slightly different path so that it gets stuck. And then once you do that, it's pretty good. And you wanna do this with all, the, all of the loose ends that you have. So we're going to turn our work and begin row number 19, but we then have to switch our hook back to a four and a half millimeter and then we'll begin our next set of stitches. So let's begin with the four and a half millimeter size US 7 and we're going to start off exactly in the first stitch and where we ended. Okay, so that was the this double crochet stitch that you finished. So we're just going to join it with the slip stitch and then chain three. So one, two, three and that counts as a double crochet and you wanna double crochet in the same one stitch. Now starting in the very next stitch is going down, we want to put in five double crochets in a row. So it's basically one stitch, one double crochet in each of the five. So one and two, so you're not skipping over anything. Three, 
4 and 5. So let's do that. So we're just going to double crochet two together. So going into the next stitch, pull through and go into the next stitch after that. Pull through and then we want to do that again. So starting in the next stitch after that. So double crochet and put those two together. So at the bottom of the valley you have two sets of two together. And now we're gonna start going up the other side. So now you're gonna do five double crochets going up on the other side. So one, two, three, four, and five. So now that we have five going up the hill, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to then go over top of the hill and it's kind of special the way we're, we're going to do it. So we're going to start off and we're going to double crochet in the next stitch and then using that stitch plus the next one we are going to put two together. So double crochet two together and then in the same one of the last one here you're going to double crochet. So you're now going to go five stitches down this side. Here's the goal. See these two and these two they are gonna become two together each. So your goal is and that it's easy to be able to miss stitching, uh, miss stitches when you go down but you want to go down and there has to be five in a row. So let's just do five. So one, two, three, four and five. Then see this is the bottom of the one side. This is the two, the bottom of the other side. So you're gonna put those, the first group together and then you're gonna put the next group together and then how many stitches are you gonna have going up? It'll be five. So let's do that. So we'll just count those out. So one, two, three, four, and five and then we're gonna go up over the top again. So you're gonna start in the next stitch and then you're gonna go two together starting in the first stitch that you're already in and then go to the next one after that and put those two together and then double crochet in the same one of the last one and then you're gonna come down the other side. So it's gonna be five going down and remember the two at the base of each side becomes two together. So when you count down the five that's where you should end up. So uh, starting in the next stitch. So one, two, three, four, and five. And let's see where we are. See those two? Those are the last two. So you're gonna put those together. And then you're gonna go to the next two, put those two together. That goes up the hill. And then you're gonna go five going up. So this is the very end. So you're just gonna go up and down all the way to the end. The last one there will be five going up. So this is three so far, four, and five. And then finally in the last stitch there will be two double crochet in the last stitch at all. And that was the end of the row. So now you're gonna turn your work and begin the next row. So let's begin to do row number 20. You're gonna chain three, so one, two, three and double crochet into the same one. And now we're gonna do a cross stitch. So it's, it, it could look to you as an X stitch which it was to me earlier. So just skip the next one and go to the second one over, double crochet and now go into the one that you skipped. So just lean the project forward and access it by just shifting it in front and double crocheting. And then we're going to bobble into the next stitch. So in the next one here there's going to be five um, double crochets. So you're going to do five double crochet uh, together. 
So just going into the next one, just start double crocheting but don't finish the stitch. So do one and then two and then three and four and five. So there's gonna be lots going on in the hook. So you should see a total of six loops and then yarning over pulling it through all six. And this bobble will naturally wanna pop out to the other side of the work. And then you're gonna X stitch the next two. So skip in the next one and cross stitch and then go to the one you skipped. Now right where you are, you see that there's, these are the two together. So you see the one before it, so this one, so these become together and then this one here plus this one becomes two together. So just start. So it's two together twice in a row. So it was one and then do the next one. And now we're gonna do what we just did but going up the hill. So you're gonna cross stitch first. So skip the first one, go to the second. And then come back and get the one you skipped for the cross. The bobbles in the next so it's five. So it's considered really a five double crochet together. But it's referred to as a bobble in this case. Which is, which is accurate. So as soon as you do that you have a total of six loops. Pull through all six and then X stitch again. So cross stitch. So skip in the next. And so the very next stitch should be the peak right there. Okay, so the peak will have three double crochets into it. So let's review going down once again. So we're just now just turn the corner. So now we're gonna start off with the cross stitch. And then a bobble. So the next one is a bobble. And then a cross stitch. And if you're right, the next two should become two together. So look at it. So I'm giving you visual aids. So see how there's, these are the two togethers. So the first one and the one before is empty. So you're gonna put those two together. And then you're gonna put the next one and the next empty one together. And you're gonna go up the hill. So to go back up the hill you're gonna start with the cross stitch. And then a bobbles into the next one. Okay, so let's get your six loops, you're ready to go. And then you're gonna cross stitch once more. And then you're at the top of the peak. So the next one after that should be three double crochet. So what I want you to do is keep going up and down and then I will see you at the end of this line and this will conclude off row number 20. So I'm just coming up to the end. I've done my two togethers at the base. Do you see those? And now I've just done a cross stitch. I'm now going up to the bobble. And then I'm doing a cross stitch. And then you're left with one stitch left at the end. Which will be the end which is the turning chain. Don't forget that. And that will have two double crochets in there. So this will then conclude off row number 20. And then row number 21 is next. So let's turn our work and, and think about it. So you can see that the bobble work is there. So depending on what kind of colors you use you can really see that. And we're gonna go to row number 21 which is next. So row number 21 is exactly what we just did in row number 19 with these. The difference is, is that the way that it's being referenced. So it's being, it's rewritten. So you're just gonna chain three to begin and then double crochet in the same one. Now you're gonna go five down. So let's count those up together. So one, 
two, three, four, and five. And then the next two groups are two. So do you see the two here? So this is the one plus the empty one behind. So that becomes two together. I'm trying to give you a, vi a visual cues here. And then the next one here, see that one's the two together plus the next empty one. So those belong together for two together. So you know you're in the right spot. So then starting in the very next stitch going up, you're gonna have five going up. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're doing a double crochet, three of them in here. So, so do you see that there's three there? It's the middle one. So the difference between this row 21 and 20 was the way that you did that really fun stuff right in the peak. That was to done I believe in order to keep the stitch counts accurate so that you could move on to do the rest of this stuff pretty easily. So then you go down. So you go to five down, put the next two groups of two together and then five up and then put three into the peak and etc. I'll see you at the end of row number 21. So I'm coming up to the other side. I just put my two groups of two together that you see and now I'm on number three coming in. So three, four, and five and then the last in the turning chain will be two double crochet. So that will conclude off row number 21. So let's go back to the instructions now because the main part of this has now been filmed. So you can see this. So when you go and switch back to the blue here, you're going to want to change your hook back to five and a half. So like the, the, the instructions that you will see. So it's not necessarily the color blue, but it's this stitch itself. It's the Suzette stitch. So let's uh, go and look at the, the uh, instructions now. So what you're going to do then row number 22 to 29 you're gonna repeat alternating rows of 20 and 21 and you keep doing that until you get to row number 29. So continuing on to page number two it says then to repeat row number 20 that you see and then you switch your color. You can see that the color's been changed. So row uh, number 31 is going to be repeat 21 Okay, so we are still working on that fun stitching and then row number uh, 30 and 33 what you're going to do then is then sw you are switch not only to the pink but you'll do rows number 20 and 21 and at the end of 21 you wanna drop the color and then begin A. So with the larger hook then you begin and you see rows number 34, 35 and then 36 to 47 and you're just following all these sets of instructions that you're, that you're working with. So when you look at these kind of instructions you've already kind of done this before in the past and what you have to just do is that you just have to just know, uh, you know what you do, right? You just gotta look at this and just being able to follow it and etc. and you'll be able to finish that as well. So this is how you would do these kind of instructions. Just follow it line by line and make sure that when you are switching back in order to do the bobbling and the cross stitching that you are, are following that idea of only one single crochet and one double crochet in the last before then you switch it off. So all you're doing is repeating rows number 19 uh, to row number 50 and you'll do that three times and then you can fasten off. Of course if you don't wanna change any colors or change it as often as you wish that is basically up to you. So good luck and enjoy and this is how you will do this. Just refer to these instructions to be able to complete the rest of your particular project. Have a good one and we'll hope to see you again real soon. Bye bye.